I see a very tall angel. The lady with the headgear, call her for me. The lady with the headgear, not the yellow headgear, call her for me. Ah, there is a very tall angel I saw that was standing beside you and the angel gave me a signal that call her. I'm going to give you a message for her. Now, in the realm of the spirit, this is what I am seeing. I am seeing you wearing a garment and there's a lot of pockets around the garment. And each of the pockets is a currency. I saw dollar. I saw yen from Japan. I saw uh, pounds. I saw euro. I saw different types of currency. And the Lord said, today, I must install you on the throne of prosperity. The Lord is saying to me, the Lord is saying to me that he took you out of Zambia to Europe. You've been to Europe before? Is it Russia? Yes. It was Russia? Yes. I was in okay. Russia. Now listen. The Lord said he took you out of Zambia to Europe because he wanted you to have a foretaste of better life. Because there is going to come a time you are going to practice medicine. And the Lord said the medicine you are going to practice is not even going to be in Zambia. You are going to practice medicine and you'll be looking after white people. Ah, are you in medical school? Yes. You are in medical school. Yes. How many years? Um, fourth year. We're opening fourth year. Four, you are in the fourth year. Well, yeah, Kofi, this one is going to be a specialist. I don't know. The medical school you are. I don't know anything about medical school. And I don't know your plans. And I don't know your syllabus. But there is something so special that you are going to major in in the health department. And the Lord said, even white people will crave to have an appointment to see a young girl like you. The destiny, the destiny you carry is not a mere destiny. The destiny you carry is not a joking destiny. And that is the reason why, even though you have come of age, I am seeing, I am seeing trees. I'm seeing trees. And as I count to the tree, I get to 22 and all of a sudden another tree has appeared and it is 23. Even though you have come of age and you are entering to 22, 23. Am I correct? Uh, 23, 24. The Lord said, even though you have come of age to that level, there is no man that comes around you that is comfortable enough to say, let her be my girlfriend. Let me be her boyfriend. The reason is because God says, I am preventing them from messing your future. Kofi, if you look at her, does it look like somebody who has just jumped from 23 to 24? She doesn't look like it. She doesn't look, she looks like 18 or 17. So if you look at the body and you want to prophesy, you will make a mistake. Hallelujah. The relationship that you are yearning for that is not bearing fruit. The Lord said, don't bother yourself. If you will notice, once in a while, your right palm, it will be as though one particular place, it will be as though something has touched it and is tickling and is itching. Yes. Eh? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. It is like that. Yes. The Lord said, that itchiness and that tickling, the Lord is saying to me, it is not witchcraft. The Lord said, it is a world that every now and then he comes back to drop oil into your palm. You will specialize. You will specialize in something in the medical field that white people all over the world they will yearn to be in your presence. Something that has to do with the intestines, with the kidney, because right now I am seeing the angels of God rearranging my intestines, and that is how I know the area she's going to specialize in. Jam your hands together for the Lord. Do you have any vision to be a specialist, a surgeon, yes, or whatever? I want to be a surgeon. You want to be a surgeon? Yes. A surgeon is what? A surgeon is someone who operates on people. Operates on people. Yes. Any specific area? I just want to do general surgery. General Everything. surgery that has to do with the heart, the Everything. stomach. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Ah. Listen. Listen. You. Are you in a medical school also? How old are you? 19. In a medical school. First year or second year? First year. You will not complete. 
you will not complete. You will leave that medical school. The reason you will leave that medical school, the enemy will frustrate your parents with their finances. They cannot afford to pay. You will come back and sit home. God said I should help you. Yes. God said I should help you. Mama, you and your husband, you are going to get frustrated with your finances. This is your contract that got expired and they didn't renew. It is because of this, your son. Eh? And the enemy knows that in your family, among all your sisters, you are going to be the one standing to hold all of them when your father and your mother cannot work anymore. And that is why from your infancy, your academics have been fought year after year. Your education has been fought year after year. You must never belittle yourself to say, I am only 19. Because your destiny is connected to your academics. Right now, I am seeing, I'm seeing a file. It's a pamphlet, not a file. I'm seeing a pamphlet. The cover of the pamphlet looks like sea blue. Sea blue. I saw an angel of the Lord hand it over into your hands. And the Lord is saying to me that from today, as I pray for you, he said he's going to give you divine knowledge and wisdom. Yes. Divine knowledge and wisdom. And you will excel in the medical field. You will come out with graduation first class in your school, in your class. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. The Lord says, you should get me a bottle of oil. I pray over the oil and you will anoint the doorpost of where you are staying. Because I am seeing you, are you, you have moved from your parents' house? Yes. I'm you are staying in the school? No, a boarding house. You are staying in a boarding house. Yes. Because I, I saw a woman who has been sent from the river. And I saw the woman entering into your room. And I saw you doing what mommy and daddy does. And I saw your light beginning to dim slowly. The Lord says, I pray over olive oil. You go home and you anoint the door. Yes. Because there is a woman who is going to develop so much interest. Like she loves you, she can't do away without you. She has your interest at heart. It is all in the name of you having sex with her. And she will tell you that I am pregnant. Because it will be sex that is not prepared. Sex that is not prepared, you don't go to the pharmacy to buy condom. And she will come back to say I am pregnant. And I saw your light dimming gradually, gradually, until you came out of school. You have a girlfriend? At school? Where? 19 years you have a girlfriend. Hey. I, I didn't know you are where? Hey. So now that he's independent and he's staying alone in a hostel, what happens if this girl decides to come and uh, visit him? Is he not going to? Because he has his own bed now. Mr. Mututua. These are our children. Eh? And the mother doesn't even know that the son has a girlfriend. At the age of 19, in my days, the way your father will slap you. I pray for you, Caleb, that you have self-control and you have self-discipline and you will not mess up to bring shame on your fair parents and family and even the church. You will graduate with first degree honors as a medical student in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. In your medical field, you are not only going to operate with book knowledge, you are going to operate with the hand of God. There is grace and healing anointing that today is resting on you. The Lord said to me, he said, enthrone her. Enthrone her. So I'm going to enthrone you. Just wait, I'm coming. Mama, I pray for you. May God restore your career. May God restore your finances. And may God multiply your husband's finances in Jesus' mighty name. Don't say, tell your husband, don't say we have a project of building. Are you building? He acquired a plot. Okay, where? McKinney. Recently? Uh, tell your husband he shouldn't focus on building because the Lord is telling me that his excuse is going to be on the building. And this boy will be affected. But God doesn't want it because what God said to me is that the man who is going to stand in the gap to help all your children is this one. Not only your children, even your sisters, this one. In the near future, school fees for her auntie's children and whatnot, he is the one. 
So tell your husband to invest and invest and invest in his education because yes. medical school is, is, I think, seven years. Yes. He has only started first yes. year. Your husband might get tired and say, I want to build. As he focus on this one, my God will multiply his finances to build without stress Amen. in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a spirit husband coming to you and sleeping with you. I'm seeing a spirit husband coming to you and sleeping with you. Tuesday, come and see me okay, in my office. Come and see me in my office. Kofi, bring the chair. The one at the far end. Just put it here. This is how God works. And this is your seat time, right? This is your seat time. Many people may not see it. What I'm doing for you. But when it manifests, the whole world will see it. Amen. Put it here on the altar. Put it, bring it back. Bring it back. Turn it. To, sit down. Give me a bottle of oil. Sit down. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and makes me. Something happened, and now I know. The Lord says that your firstborn, you must give him the name Michael. And I know he's going to be a boy, so I'm not even going to try to look for the female name. Because as I lifted the song, I saw a boy in the spirit. The boy was covered with clouds. Amen. Kofi, the boy was covered with what? Clouds. And I saw the boy running towards her. And as the boy got to her, I saw the boy knelt down and put her head, his head, on her lap. And the Lord said, there's that lives in the river that has been contending with her family. That spirit has already seen her destiny. So there is a part of her destiny concerning childbearing that has been touched by the enemy. But the Lord said, as soon as she sat on the throne, that part has been destroyed. Amen. And it has been restored. And I saw that boy and that boy is not going to be a slim boy. He's going to be a plumpy. You know plumpy? He's going to be a plumpy boy like Mama Vida's son. That kind of a boy. He's going to be that kind of a boy. I've seen him. And the age I saw is between the age of 10 to 12. Amen. And I saw the boy lying on your lap. Putting his head on your lap. And the Lord said to me, that is Michael. So no matter what, no matter what, children that carry great destiny and peculiar destiny, uh -huh. their names are given even before their mother meets their Amen. father. So this son of yours that God is giving you is not an ordinary son. Amen. It's not an ordinary child. God said he is giving you this child as a form of reward Amen. for you and your family. That for once in your family, greatness is going to arise starting from the mother. And greater than the mother will arise starting from the son. Starting from the son. As you sit on this chair, yes. today, my daughter, I enthrone you. I enthrone you. And I empower you yes. on the throne of destiny. On the throne of life, yes. no power can ever dethrone you in yes. this life. You will fulfill your purpose with speed. Mm. You will fulfill your purpose backed by the power yes. of the Most High God. Isaac called Jacob and he blessed him. Yes. And he told him, so even though you are my firstborn, uh -huh. I can't do anything because I've already given your blessings to your brother. Yes. Even though you are the youngest among all your mother's children, yes. right? You are the youngest. Among all your mother's children, you shall be the greater yes. and the greatest among all your mother's children. Amen. Spiritually, yes. financially, yes. influentially, yes. you shall be the greatest. Yes. I bless you with substance. I bless you with gold. I bless you with wealth. Yes. 
I bless you with diamond. I bless you with emerald. I bless you with gold dust. I bless you with good marriage, good husband. I bless you to be fruitful, fruit of the womb. I bless you in in your career. You will not fail in Jesus' mighty name. You will sit on this chair three times. Miriam, I enthrone you today. Miriam, I enthrone you today. Miriam, I enthrone you today. I enthrone you today. You shall never lose any battle. Even if a patient is cursed uh -huh. by his own on her own doing, uh -huh. self-inflicted, uh -huh. cursed, mm. imposed, cursed. Even if God is angry with a person mm. and he or she is lying on that sick bed yes. and you come across there uh -huh. because of this prayer, yes. Jehovah will intervene and Amen. give them another chance. Amen. You shall be known yes. as the pastor doctor Amen. who saves lives. Yes. You will not die premature. Amen. Are you in a relationship now? You had a relationship beginning of this year, but you are you have parted. He, he broke your heart, or you broke his heart. He broke your heart. I told you in the beginning that is how the nature God Himself is going to cause them to go like that. So they don't begin to mess you up with all those funny, funny things that boyfriend and girlfriend does. Your destiny is dangerous. Your destiny is dangerous. Start praying. Start praying for God to give you gift to cure cancer. Okay? God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah.